Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is your Arabic teacher Sam and a very warm welcome back to another video. In this lesson I'm doing a little book review of a Arabic language resource which I think is pretty essential. In fact is um, one of the two books that were always within arm's reach of me when I was doing my degree in Arabic and one of them is the Hansver Dictionary. I've already done um, a video on how to use the Hansver Dictionary and you get more of an understanding on what, what that is and why you should have it in that video. I'll link that up in the description and I'll put it in a little card at the end of the video. But um, you know, in this video what I wanted to do is go over 501 Arabic verbs. The reason why this book was always within arm's distance um, uh, of me when, and still is whenever I'm studying Arabic is um, not because I don't know 501 verbs, it's how to use them and to make sure that you are using them correctly. So I just want to walk you through this book really and uh, show you why it's important. I've mentioned it in my Foundations of Arabic program and this video was going to be an exclusive little bonus video for those in the program but uh, you know we've kindly let you freeloaders have access to it as well. So um, cool, so let's get stuck into it. So. 501 Arabic verbs. It is organized, if you go to the index in the front, it is organized alphabetically. Um, so whenever you're looking you know, for an Arabic verb or you're wondering if you've conjugated it properly, um, you literally just go to the, the index of them. So at the, yeah, it's at the back. It's organized alphabetically, but just like I talked about in the dictionary video, um, they're organized alphabetically, but in terms of their roots. So for example, if we're looking at the verb, um, you know, um, itaba, it taba that that's not you know it, it comes in the ta part because we know the root letters of that verb are ta ba and ain so even though it begins with an elif or a hamza um, you know it's still in it's still in the section that begins with a ta so it's organized alphabetically but in terms of its roots not necessarily in terms of the verb but it's just amazingly helpful because sometimes no matter how much Arabic we use and even native speakers there are some ways of conjugating certain verbs that you know, that aren't used very often. So it's always good practice, especially like the, the, the feminine plural conjugations, because they're just so unusual. So it's a good idea to come back, you know, come back to the diction, come, come back to this book and, you know, just, just to have access to full conjugations of stuff. And the really nice thing is, you know, if we look at, um, you know, if we look at an example like, um, uh, what am I on here? Um, so on the verb wadaha, wadaha means to make something clear. And the verb awdaha means something similar as well, but but wadaha means you know. And, and you have it here. The reason why I brought this up is because in my last lesson I talked about how verbs can have cases as well. Verbs can be monsorb, um, you know, or we call it a case in like a Western tradition, or um, or they can be um UK case we call them western traditional mod four in the arabic tradition um and it has all of those it has the way they use verbs in all of their cases and if they're passive and if they're active and in their dual and in their imperative so every possible conjugation of an arabic verb you will have on that page and you know just to have access to that at your fingertips i've just found so helpful and there are examples as well you know if we we'll look at that verb awdaha. another thing as well is the book opens like an arabic book um, you you read it, this, you read it from you know from right to left the way that you would an Arabic book. So it's not even though it's written in English and the front cover is English, it opens like an Arabic book and it's written like an Arabic book. But um, so there are sentences, yeah, there are sentences to demonstrate, um, yeah, to demonstrate how to use them. So here it's demonstrating um, the plural first person in the past, um, yeah. وَضَّحْنَا لَهُ الْأُمُورِ Yeah, which would mean like we, we, we clarified the matters for him. Yeah, yeah, we clarified the matters for him. It has the translation as well. Um, so it would, it would just give you an example of how to use the imperative, how to use the past, how to use the present, might use it in the future as well. Um, you know, so not only does it give you a whole map of all of the potential uses of that verb, it also gives you their application a bit as well and um, in, in, in all of its different potential ways so I find that incredibly useful. It's quite a thick book like um, you know the Hansver dictionary I'll put them next to each other so you can compare them it's a bit bigger you can get this paperback or you can get a hardcover um, yeah I mean I know I know most people don't have like physical books these days it's a bit outdated you know we have you know, Kindles and stuff don't you but like but this but because of the speed at which you can navigate through it, if you have the physical copy, I think it's very much worth it. And um, yeah, you know, because of that, 
um, this month I'm doing a free giveaway. I'm doing a little competition on the channel, trying to encourage you guys to learn a bit more Arabic through this channel. And I'm gonna do a free giveaway. And this, this copy, my copy, is gonna be one of the prizes in it. It's gonna be one of the prizes of the giveaway. Um, a video that will come after this will give you all of the rules on how you can win this. And there's some free lessons with me. I'm giving away free lessons with me. A free month on your foundation, on the foundations program, if you're not on it already. Or if you are on it already, I'll give you a free month. And, um, you know, there's something, there might be something else I might chuck in there as well if I can think of something good. But, um, yes, yeah, so that's what we'll be doing this month of February. Don't despair if this is after the month of February 2018, because if it went successfully, I'll be giving away tons of these, because I think they're just really good books, and other books like it. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the description, put, the, put them in the comments even. If you're on the Foundations program, you have all of my contact details, and you're first in line to ask any questions, so always get in touch with me. And if you enjoyed this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, then uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.